Hi, I'm John, and welcome back to Dice Paper Miniatures. In today's episode, we're going to look at the new preview for next week's pre-orders. Specifically, we're going to look at the new Tyranid pre-order that's coming up next week. All right, let's begin. If you think a preview of a pre-order is a hard concept, just trying to say that without fumbling across those words constantly. <laughs> All right, so let's begin with the Tyranid. So it, this is a funny thing. Games Workshop's been trying to promote all these previews of the Codex for like the last couple of weeks. And I've been reluctant to do any content really about this because most of you probably know that the Codex was like released to the interwebs, I think like over a month ago now. So pretty much everyone knew that actually cared about Tyranids and 40K, knew what to expect for this, uh, this army. And uh, I think a lot of people locally have even been playing with the new rules. So this is kind of semantics at this point, but if you you know if you want the physical book, and you're a bit of a completionist, and you haven't you know, <laughs> and 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 you're and you didn't want to spoil it, or whatever the reason, uh, the official actual pre-order is next week, so you can you'll have the actual legit content here pretty soon, but uh, yeah. So again, Codex's illustration on this, we've seen it. It looks amazing really well done um this new parasite of mortrex it's a pretty cool model for me i think it's going to be something i might pick up just for kit bashing purposes um some of the elements on this model are really solid i don't know if the model as a whole is is all that great but all the elements you know are, are really cool so i think it has a lot of uh potential for some fun kit bashing projects Let's go ahead and see what they have to say about it. The Parasite of Mortrex also arrives in the wake of the death of its namesake planet. With a stunning new model that's equal parts powerful and deeply unsettling, this bat-winged horror rakes across enemy lines with razor-sharp claws, but by far its most terrible weapon is the long Avipositor tail. Avipositor tail, yeah. Try You try saying that word. <laughs> All right, so... It, yeah, it's it's a cool model in and of itself, but for me, it's more cool that it's going to be something used for, for a lot of kit bashy goodness. All right. Now, if you are new to Tyranids and you didn't know that this was spoiled like over a month ago and you're just waiting for this new book to come out, nothing wrong with that. Totally cool. Um, there is a new combat patrol box coming out just for you. Um, so this would be a great opportunity to pick it up. Maybe consider picking up the Parasite of Mortrex and, you know, obviously your Codex. In addition to that, you get your Tyranids data cards and your dice sets. So in addition to that, you get your dice sets and your data cards. So, you know, if you're not familiar with this already, uh, everything's gone up. These dice were never, were never cheap to begin with, and they're definitely not cheap now. Um, I think historically they're around 35 bucks. They might be more. Let's take a look at that real quick. We'll go to the Eldar because that's the most recent release. Yeah, so you're looking at $29 for the data cards. And if they still had the dice, they're probably, yeah, 38 bucks. So, so if everything is equivalent to the recent Eldari release, you're going to have $29 for the data cards and $38 for the dice set. So, yeah. What are your thoughts? I mean, again, if you've been playing Tyranids, you, you've been playing probably the new rules already. Um, if you're just a completionist or you just like to have the books, you'll probably pick those up, of course. Obviously, some folks really dig the dice. Some folks, I mean, they are expensive. The data cards, some, they'll seem kind of 50-50. Uh, locally, both the dice and the data cards, um, I see people play without them. Um, but me personally, when I play any GW game, I, I'm definitely more of a, I get the card packs, especially for the small box games, which this isn't, but still because they tend to sell out. So I like to keep those, you know, get a hold of those cards as soon as possible. The dice, unless I really love the faction or army, um, I don't tend to pick up the dice. Uh, but if I really do like it and I'm going to play it for a while, then I will. Um, the problem is you probably need more dice than what they sell. So 
38 bucks is already kind of a hit. But then you add the fact that you'll probably need at least two, maybe even three sets of these. Um, then it really adds up. So if you're a collector or a completionist, you may pick up everything, of course. If you if you just want the dice for show because you like them, or again, being a collector, cool. But if you're a diehard player, I mean, I, you're probably just going to buy a bunch of chess six dice just so you can have, you know, just a, hu a huge bag of dice and just, you know, chuck it across the table um, and not have to worry about re-rolling re the same dice over and over because you only have, like, I think there's 25 in this or 20 dice. Yeah, it's 20 dice in a typical GW set, and you're going to need more than that. Just being honest. Cool dice, a little pricey, definitely pricey when you have to buy more than one set. Um, this new Combat Patrol box, the value, I haven't done a deep dive on this one yet. It's it's probably okay. Um, it looks like a ton of models, 43 miniatures. Uh, I love Gene Stealers. I'm not a huge Tyranid player personally, so your mileage may vary on this particular box offering. Let me know in the comments below. And with that, that again, that's all I have for this episode. If you enjoy this content and you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell right there. Really helps with the growth of the channel, and it's really, really appreciated. Um, I couldn't do this content without your support, and it's greatly appreciated. So with that said, I hope everyone's doing well. Be safe, take care, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.